how I came up with the idea for the Triple X program? Skateboards and swimming pools. <laughs> Skateboards used to be stuck on the ground, adolescent transportation. Then 1977 happens. Big drought hit Southern California. Got so bad, rich suburbanites couldn't afford to fill the swimming pools. That's when the light clicked on. Some kid figured out he could skate those empty pools and get some real nasty air. Dogtown and Z-Boys. You ever seen it? It's a movie. No, doesn't matter. Anyhow, our hero starts doing things on a board that no one's ever seen before. Things the world thought were impossible. Now, that kid needed that drought. The world needed those empty pools. That's why Triple X. Sensational! Do you feel safer today than you felt yesterday? I know I don't. The biggest, most expensive military in the world, and we're still scared of shoe and tidy whitey bombs at the airport. Why is that? Because soldiers are built to take orders and fight wars. But we, my friend, are not at war. We are at peril. That's why Triple X. What's the matter? You on a diet? You ain't hungry? Some set you me in the man. So? It's lunch at dinner time somewhere in the world. Come on, eat up. You know who does feel safe? The men in charge. The world beaters. The top shelf par excellence ayatollahs with all the dollars. And that's because those righteous bastards, somewhere along the way, made a deal with the devil. They traded liberty for safety. And us, we the people, ended up losing both. That's why Triple X. While everybody else is stuck on the ground, we're doing shit on the board nobody's ever even seen before. Well, that's my pitch. <laughs> I always was a bit of spying on a salesman. So, what do you say? Eu não sou herói, sou jogador de futebol. My bad. So I'll leave you be then. <sighs> Who said there's no such thing as a free meal? <laughs> the kind of hero the world needs. At the end of the day, it comes down to the same question I've been asking my wife every Friday night for the last 20 years. Do you want some of this? Or are you just gonna... Okay, you may sit. Gentlemen, this is the device that crashed the satellite and killed Gibbons. Nerds in the lab have coined it Pandora's box. My team backtracked the satellite's last signal input to Miami. Some asshole living the high life at the Ritz-Carlton penthouse thought he could hold the world ransom. Three flashbangs, two bullets, and one body bag later, we took custody of the device. We must have over a hundred redundancies in place to prevent some punk with a laptop from hijacking satellites. And Pandora's box 
can bypass all of them. With the push of a button, it can eavesdrop on secure communications, corrupt military software, transmit false intelligence, or crash a satellite out of the sky like a goddamn tactical warhead. One of you is behind this, and I am not leaving here until I find out who. <laughs> boss. in here, step on our throats and take the one device that can cause a global power shift. So how do we get it back? These assholes just took out the best of the best like it was Sunday brunch. We need someone who can move like them, fight like them. We need someone who can walk into a tornado and come out the other side like it was a damn gentle breeze. You know someone like that? No. The Cubans did.